Welcome back to the CJ vs. AJ podcast. This is CJ doing a solo play of Pokemon Dark Rising. It's a hack for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, I'm still playing solo. My wife is still in the shower because she's a woman and she takes forever, if you know what I mean. Anybody who's ever met a woman knows how long they take in the shower. I have used the bathroom. Um, yes, I've used the bathroom while she was in the shower. We're at that point in our relationship. Um, I've gotten a drink. My chest doesn't hurt as much as it did. So, you know, things are improving all around. Uh, oh, and I wasn't like, I took a drink of water. I wasn't like, do you like the fish? No, I don't like the fish. It's a little too bad. I guess he was going to give me the... Ah, fine. He's going to give me the fishing rod. Uh, hmm. Which tangent should I go off of? I was going to go on a tangent about drinking. Um, nah, nah, I'm not going to go there. Uh, I'm going to go elsewhere. I've only gone fishing once. I've gone fishing with my uncle back when I was a kid. I was probably around 10 years old, something like that. I had gone out to sort of like camp. Not, I don't want to say camp, it was like a fucking trailer park and stuff like that, uh, with like his family. And we had like gone fishing, uh, he wanted like the uh, male bonding sort of thing. And, alright, let me read this first. Nothing more but a vessel for an evil monster. Who are you? Are you also trying to find out something about Darugus? If that's the case, we're, we're, on the side. What, what? You know nothing about Darugus. You're only a kid. God damn it. You are only a kid. A curious kid. I seek revenge on Darugus. Revenge? Look, I don't know who the heck you are, but Darugus has my father, and I'm gonna rescue him. At least you still have a family. Last time... God damn it. Inappropriate capitalization. I was merely testing you. Now let's see what you really got. Bring it, bitch! Does she have blue hair? Have we fought her before? Is that a him? I don't know. Did we battle before? I honestly can't remember. That is an ugly looking Pokemon. Anyway, uh, what I was saying about the fishing story is he took me out uh, fishing uh, with his daughter at the time, uh, put the, you know, worm on the hook, threw it out there, and sort of let us just sit there with the rods. And he went off to, I believe, talk to somebody, something like that. Or he just sort of left us, you know, standing there, not really fishing, but fishing, you know, that sort of, like, waiting game thing. And, uh, hey, lo and behold, like, I caught something. And it's like, well, I'm fishing, I'm supposed to be, like, reeling this thing in. And, like, I reel it in, bring it out onto land, and it just sort of flops onto the ground. And I'm looking at it and thinking, like, oh, this is really cool, I'm super proud of myself, I caught a fish. Uh, but I'm also a avid animal lover, which is probably a bad thing to say after the, you know, having sex with Pokemon conversation, but I, like, I'm a big fan of animals. It's arguable that I think sometimes they're a lot better than humans, because humans are shit creatures. And animals are, you know, super innocent and lovable and huggable and blah blah blah, all that hippie shit. So, I, uh, looked at this fish and went, like, wait, it's not doing something, like, what do I do? It's just flopping around, it can't breathe, it's dying. And I started panicking, and I didn't know how to, like, take it off the hook and put it back into the water. And I just broke out crying, because uh, this thing finally stopped flopping around and just sort of died. And he came back super confused, uh, with me just, like, in tears at having, like, killed this fish. And uh, ever since then, I've not gone fishing. I've got no desire to go fishing, and it sort of, like, traumatized me. I can eat fish and stuff, no problem, because I'm a fat ass and I'll eat anything but I will not go fishing again. So there's that story. Wow, I am getting my butt whooped by blue-haired girl. God damn it. Um, I guess I can go into the little thing about drinking. I used to have a bit of a drinking problem. Uh, after college, I had gone through some difficult stuff in my life, and I developed kind of a dependency on drinking. I don't want to go too far into it, but I drank a lot at inappropriate times. However, that being said, I don't enjoy drinking. I don't enjoy the flavor. There's nothing particularly fun about drinking, if that makes sense. It's the... 
feeling afterwards you get of not caring and sort of that numbness that I always liked and depended on. And uh, I still occasionally drink. I don't know why I'm using fire attacks on a fire Pokemon. I still occasionally drink uh, just sort of like beer or wine, uh, occasionally some rum, but it's on the very rare occasion, either when I'm feeling bad or celebrating. It's never a social, fun thing that I do, really. Well, I guess you can say celebration is a social, fun thing, but I guess that's sort of arguable. I'll go out with my wife, and it's like we're celebrating our, like, I don't know, birthdays or something, and that's something to have a drink for. I will not go to a party and have a drink. This is a deep topic for Pokemon, but uh, I don't... You know, some people will drink because they think it tastes good, or they think they need to for social situations, and I think that's bullshit, because if you've ever drank vodka or even beer, it all tastes like shit. It tastes absolutely horrible. You cannot say that, like, hey, I enjoy the flavor of this. It's sort of similar to people saying, like, they enjoy smoking. It's that not that you enjoy smoking, it's that you're dependent on the feeling of smoking, of, like, the reaction your body has to the chemicals. I think it's the same way for alcohol. You're sort of conditioned to say, like, oh, I really like this sort of stuff, just to rationalize why you're doing it, why you're paying all this additional, or why you're paying money for something that's just basically killing you, that's poison, that's like hurting your body. And I'm not obviously being judgmental, saying like, oh, all of you are scum who like, uh, enjoy drinking and stuff. It's just, I've been there where I've, you know, been drunk by 10 in the morning, and I'm not someone to really judge. It's just, I think people should be honest as to why they do things. And... I cannot kill this fucking Larvesta thing. This better be her strongest Pokemon. And I don't think when people say that they enjoy drinking, they're actually being honest. I'm gonna get off this topic, because it's not a fun discussion for a fucking Pokemon Let's Play. Let's start making fun of the Larvesta. Um, I'm trying to figure out what it's supposed to be. Obviously, the larva part makes it a bug, I imagine? It doesn't look like a bug. Maybe it is a bug. Maybe that little, like, part sticking out of it, like the brown part behind it is supposed to be the body of the cockroach or whatever the fuck this thing is. I'm getting my ass whooped here. My god. Okay, maybe I should use Tiger's uh, turn to sort of like heal my other people. Alright, well... Maybe I should have taken out Bulba and did the whole leech seed combo thing. Let's do this again. Bulba's gonna have to. Be, oh, Bulba's gonna get his ass, her ass kicked too. Because it's like a fire Pokemon. I gotta kill our best though. Alright, come on, Tigger. Come on, Tigger. Wake up, wake up. Please wake up. Alright, just fight, fight, fight. I don't know what facade means. How, how does facade hurt me? <sighs> Alright, come on, Bulba. I'm not going to bother leech seeding. That's kind of a waste of a turn at this point. Should I just do tackle? Yeah, I'm going to do tackle. I don't have that much of... No, 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 no! I don't have much of a uh, razor leaf left. Alright, Larvest is dead. Please be like a level 10 Pokemon. Please. Ooh, that's a lot of experience points. Oh my god. Okay, I really need to do some grinding. There's no way I can win this battle. I'm sorry, folks. I've let you all down. Uh... You guys think I can, like... Oh, of course you flinched. Of course you did. Because wh why would you, you know, why would you be able to survive and keep attacking? And I'm dead. I don't know. Maybe I wasn't supposed to win this battle. Maybe this was a story battle. Did I white out? Did I white out? Yep, I waited out. Well, so much for that. Alright, thanks a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Condescending prick. Alright, let's go do some grinding. Maybe the... Hey, the wife is back. And my dog's growling at her. 
Uh, maybe there's some interesting Pokemon to catch in the grass. Excuse me, podcast listeners. I need some underwear, and the mic is in my underwear drawer. <laughs> Don't. Uh, she's giving away our secrets. <laughs> I'm playing Pokemon in front. Basically, we have two computers. One of the computers is on top of a dresser, and I decided to move the microphone closer to me by extending the drawer and putting the microphone on top of a box so it's sort of like in front of my face so it can properly record without screaming at everyone. And yeah, it happens to be her underwear drawer. <laughs> I just got my ass whooped. Um, some blue haired chick. She looks like Ramona Flowers out of uh, Scott Pilgrim. Yeah. Sort of a manlier version, but yeah, for her. So, did yeah. you ever go back to that dude who was like the co worker of your father? Yeah, I <laughs> did. I beat him, and we had a conversation that I had to save my father, and that was it. He didn't give me anything, <laughs> didn't particularly tell me anything interesting that so I didn't already after know. After all of that, like, oh, you have to prove yourself worthy, it's like, go save your father. Yeah. And it's like, okay, we're already doing that. <laughs> I don't know. And now there's the Ramona flower stopping me from going into a cave. So, didn't miss much. You know, aside from any awkward conversations we might have had. I've had no awkward conversations. None whatsoever. Don't listen to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> now you know I've got to listen to you it. You don't have to listen to it. We need sweet scent. That's stupid. She's just totally in the way right now, and I can't see the screen or talk into the microphone. No, Bulba is not evolving. I should probably take the experience share off of Bulba by this point, because he's going to end up a higher level than my fucking main dick chomp. I keep calling it a he. It's a, it's a girl. Let's be honest. I don't know why we lie about it. You're ashamed of me. Alright. It's not the son that you always want. <laughs> Bulba would be an awesome son. Alright, take the experience share. Let's give it to... Hmm... Give it to Tigger. Item... Give. Have you really got to catch something that isn't a fire Pokemon? No, I don't. Yes, you do. Uh, let's... Nah, we'll, we'll level up Deck Chomp. Alright, we're gonna catch one interesting Pokemon by the end of this Let's Play. That's not an interesting Pokemon. Level 15, though. That's decent. I kept saying you should catch some of those Pidgeys you kept killing as you grind and stuff. This isn't... Oh, microphone's falling. <laughs> we good? Yeah, we're good. Uh, this isn't Generation 1 of Pokemon. I'm not going to catch a Pidgey. Fair enough. I don't know some of the Pokemon in this, and I'm going to catch a Pokemon I don't know. Hey! Fuck! Thank you. Sit down, dog. Um, our dog has a sneeze fetish. Uh, whenever you sneeze, she just runs up in a panic, like, trying to check if you're okay, what's going on, and, yeah. But she is completely neurotic. I mean, she starts whining at thunder, people knocking on the door, loud noises. One day our sink started making a strange bubbling noise for some reason. I was lifting weights at the time. She came and sat down under the weights so that I couldn't put them down because she was so freaked out by this strange sink noise. <laughs> In all fairness, I get freaked out when the sink makes weird noises. <laughs> I think it's like some sort of ghost or something like a uh, slimer or whatever from the Ghostbusters just hanging out in there. So, yeah, I can understand why she'd be upset about that. Okay, maybe the new goal for this Let's Play is evolving uh, Dick Chomp. That, yeah, I'm not gonna... It doesn't look like there's gonna be interesting, any interesting Pokemon in the grass here. So we're gonna evolve Dick Chomp, but I'm gonna leave it at that. Let's go kill some birds. Ugh, I gotta share my fucking experience now. Shit, and what's worse, Tigger has the experience here. Actually, did they get double experience then? I think so. I hope so. Dragon Breath. Bye, Pidgey. Flame Wheel. Bye, Starly. Starly's a nice name. It's probably... There's an actual bird named Starling, I think, so it's probably based on that. Mm, maybe. maybe. Ah, goddammit. Yeah. Mound. Mound Dick Chomp. Uh, let's do it on Starly. 
Tigger will bite if he... Um, if there's suddenly a bunch of noise in the background, it's because our apartment building is across the street from an elementary school, and it is now lunchtime, and all the kids are going out for recess. 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 Recess pieces. That's what the kids are going for. The kids love them some chocolate peanut butter. I can't blame it. I like Reese's Pieces when I was a kid. And I had the whole, like, E.T. craze going at the time for it to be like, ooh, Reese's Pieces. <laughs> that was that, totally a commercial. That was a good uh, imitation. <laughs> Shut up. All my Pokemon are learning Dick. If I remember correctly, Dig was a TM in the original generation I thought you Pokemon. said Dick. And I was like, what? <laughs> All my Pokemon have the Dick. Dick Chomp has the Dick. Tigger has the Dick. Bulba really wants the Dick. What? Oops. Press the right shoulder button again. Ah, da, 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 da. Somebody, battle me. Fuck. All I want to do is evolve this Pokemon. This is going to be a 20 minute let's play and I didn't intend for it to be. Go get Chomp. Ugh. We're not actually going to get Dick Chomp anywhere near like gaining a level this let's play. There's no way that uh, he actually gets that much experience from just fucking little fighting little birds. Fucking little birds. I guess he gets experience if he's fucking little birds, but <laughs> I, not the right experience. <laughs> I think that's Gordon's level. Uh, not to give too much away, but I've been saying awkward things during the podcast. And uh, you're kind of getting back on topic that I was trying to get off of. <laughs> so we're going to leave this Let's Play here. And she's... Yeah. <laughs> Not allowed to listen to the audio for these Let's Plays. Thank you for watching. This has been the CJ vs. AJ Podcast.